a universal bank is um, a specific structure of banks where within the same roof you have two different types of activities, very different in nature. The first type of activities is what we call the commercial bank, is the bank we all know. That's the bank where you can deposit your savings. Uh, that's the bank where you can go to uh, obtain a credit uh, for, to buy a house or a car. That's also the bank where uh, real economy companies like SMEs or large corporations go uh, against to, to, to manage uh, their treasury, uh, to get a financing and so on. Uh, that's one part of the activities that manages the system of payments as well, which is really uh, indispensable. Now, another type of activities are market-related activities on financial markets, so derivatives, bonds, uh, equity, uh, which are very different in nature. Uh, they, they are much more short-term. Uh, it's, it's really a, a different kind of, of, uh, of model. Uh, so the universal bank is the bank that contains both investment banking on one side and commercial banking on the other. Now the problem is not really with the universal banking model per se, uh, the problem lies with the fact that these universal banks, uh, after the deregulation of the 80s and 90s, have grown um, exponentially big, and especially the market part has, has uh, overdeveloped, so that now we actually have a majority of the activities of these banks which lies in financial markets, and, and most of these are actually speculative uh, activities versus the core activities of these banks that is rather limited and up to 30% only of their activities. Now, these vital activities benefit from a guarantee from the state because the state cannot let down the system of payments, the deposits or the credit. Uh, and so that allows for cheap funding because there is a guarantee. Investors will invest in that bank at, at a low rate because it's very secure, the state will save them. Now, the banks, following the deregulation of the 80s and 90s, have used that cheap money to finance speculation on financial markets. So these activities have grown uh, above uh, any reasonable proportions, and actually this created the interconnectedness of the system that led to the financial crisis in 2007-2008. The universal banking model per se is not a new phenomenon, but these universal banks that are too big to fail uh, in Europe, we have 15 to 20 of these banks in Europe and, and 30 on a global scale, this is a new phenomenon and it is linked to the fact that uh, we, uh, we went away from the very um, regulated and strict uh, financial system uh, that was put in place after the 30s, so the, the big uh, crash on the New York Stock Exchange in 1929. At a global level, you have a very strong financial regulation for 40 years, strict limits on the, the type and nature of activities uh, that banks can have. So we have uh, watered uh, that completely down and based on that the banks have used the cheap money that they get from the state guarantee, the implicit subsidy we call it, to finance the development of market activities and the scale, the proportion of these market activities versus commercial banking, uh, if you like vital banking, is, is a very new phenomenon, yes. The financial lobby um, uh, fights hard to, uh, to avoid a regulation uh, that would force a separation of banking activities. We have a European legislative proposal on the table uh, that is fought really hard by the, the financial lobby. Their main argument is that the universal too big to fail uh, banks model is indispensable to the real economy. It is indispensable to get out of the recession we know today, to create jobs, etc. The argument is, is really weak, to say the least, uh, because of what I explained before. More than 60% of the activities of these banks is not correlated to the activities in the real economy or the activities of citizens. So the vast majority of their activities are highly speculative, they create interconnectedness, uh, and they actually led to the recession they now claim they're going to help us to get out of.